Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Now I've just filmed the last 10 decks. So the last 10 decks that came into your collection, but I'm in it now and I thought let's do another version of that tag, another response to Jonathan, but this time with books, not decks. So the last 10 books I'm going to do. Editing me, I just was looking for links for Jonathan's video to add to the description box and realised that the last 10 books have been done by Gerald and Jamie in a back and forth. I even think I might have been in that live watching it. Totally forgot. I'll add in their video as well, link to their video. A lot of these books, the majority of them are price range like £1.20, £2.20, £3, that sort of reduction in price. And on top of that, they had a buy three books, get fourth, a fourth one free. So I was getting four books for under £10 a lot of the time here. So it almost seemed rude not to. And let's share, there may actually be a few bonus ones at the end because I just grabbed the pile of new ones. So they are books linked to my spiritual walk, which is kind of um, linked to my environment. So Druidry I'm interested in, working with the Celtic Pantheon I'm interested in, Witchcraft, I'm working more with witchcraft spells as well. So you're going to see a combination of those kind of books. I'm also a trained artist, so anything to do with art and spirituality interests me. And I'm a gardener as well, so anything linking to the garden. So when I realised there was this mega sale on, with the interest I've got, I put in Caitlin Matthews and John Matthews. So the first few books you are going to see that I bought that are by Caitlin and John. The Goddess, Elements of the Goddess, you've got Clearing the Ground, The Power Under the Hill, Addressing the Gods, Finding a Myth to Live By, Her Second Coming, Visioning the Temple, Inner Constellations, The Temple of Light, Dancing in Space, The Inner Temple, Earthing. So it looks fantastic, this book. Goddess work is a part of my practice. I work with the Morrigan, I work with Bridget, I also work with the Dagda as my masculine energy and um, yeah just anything by Caitlin and John Matthews is going to be good and then this one in the same series was on there as well the elements of the Celtic tradition where did the Celts come from who were the Celtic gods and heroes why do we celebrate the Celtic festivals what are the magical and mystical traditions of the Celts? Why is the Celtic tradition still so influential in our art, music and poetry? So if you've got ideas about the underworld, the silver branch, the gifted people, the sacred king, the primal gods. I wonder if there's anything in here about the Sheila in a gig. I'm, just as I'm looking at that picture, seeing carvings on a wall, I'm thinking, is there a Sheila in a gig in here? I can't see anything in the glossary at the back. But again, I think that looks fantastic. So I think this must have been a series of books, The Elements of by Caitlin Matthews. So I should be keeping an eye out for some more of those for sure. And then another one that came up in the search of Caitlin Matthews is this one, The Art of Celtic Seership, How to Divine from Nature and the Other World. So this is about observing the landscape features, trees, the movements of animals and visioning answers like our ancestors would have in the landscape. I am loving this so far. I'm about halfway through this. So it talks about 
Spirits, um, Kindling the Bright Knowledge, Seers, Healers and Prophets, Seeing the Invisible, Fairy Seership in the Other World, Vision Poets in the Dark, Cell, The Three Illuminations, Fate Destiny and the Sovereignty of the Soul, The Prophetic Vision, Omens and Divination and Visions of Wholeness. Working with Nature Omens is something that really I've just always done naturally. And a lot of this book does feel like something that is just inherent in me and very natural. It's just fascinating. It's really good. So that's another one. That's book number three. And of course, if you search the name Matthews, you'll get John Matthews stuff come up as well. Equally as brilliant to read. This one really appealed. I haven't started reading this one either. This is the Celtic Shaman and it presents the techniques and methods of Celtic shamanism um, which is fascinating to me like I say this is a this is this is my own personal bloodline this is my own personal link to where I live this is my history here um, and I just I want to know all there is to know to be honest uh, and it just looks so fascinating so you've got theory and practice practical skills as well so it, it's a handbook so it's going to be very practical I'm really excited to read that one so that is book number four and you can see that Druidry is really fascinating to me this one i couldn't resist it's the druid garden gardening for a better future inspired by the ancients i haven't read it yet but my garden and my gardening hobby is very much a part of not only my goddess work um, but also my witchcraft as well and it just seemed to bring it all together. So why a Druid garden, gardening through the ages, the sacred soil, just the name of that chapter. I do view soil as sacred, composting, planning the garden, plants as living beings. Yes, connecting with the plants, trees, gardening with the four elements, sacred food, growing my own food is something that I really want to develop. Um, as part of my witchcraft so that just seemed like a no-brainer right book number six again you will see caitlin and john matthew's name again now this i think i picked this book up for one pound twenty and it's unbelievable because it's a hardback book it's the arthurian book of days again the mythology and the legends of where i'm from the Arthurian legend and the Grail quest, it all absolutely fascinates me. It's got links to Wales and the Nantios Cup, which um, I had a personal experience with. It's got links to Strata, Florida, which is right by my caravan in Wales. Of course, it's got links to Glastonbury as well and Mary Magdalene. Um, I love this when you buy a second hand book and it has an inscription a gift inscription in the front so your contents you've got um how to use this book and it's linked to a year working through the book so it says that the arthurian book of days is arranged so that each day commemorates an event in the arthurian cycle the narrative of arthur's life is not told straightforwardly from january to december but as with anyone's life, events occur on certain days in different years. The chronicle is included so that the reader can also follow the stories of the cycle consecutively. So you've got different elements that happened throughout the Arthurian legends, but on a time on a timeline, on a date timeline. Which I think is just fantastic. Look at this going all the way through and it's got the most amazing, incredible illustrations. 
so wherever you are in the year you can read a little bit of what was going on in the Arthurian legends for that day and really nice way to take in what is a very vast and often quite confusing legend to read and I just think I think these illustrations are just wonderful look at this and then at the end you've got the chronicle so if you want to read the story in order it gives you the dates to then go back and read it in the order that it came so you've got two different ways of reading the book which I think is just fantastic you've got all of the shields of the knights there which is really interesting so that just seemed like too good a bargain to pass up the Arthurian book of days by Caitlin and John Matthews and then again another subject that really fascinates me the mythic and magical folklore of plants this book just seemed really interesting as well and the contents looked really fascinating like you've got plants in fairy lore plants in demonology plants in witchcraft lightning plants love charms dream plants plants in the weather plant proverbs plants and their ceremonial use plant language it just seems a really different way of organizing a book about plants in witchcraft so that one was grabbed too i think this one may have been the last of the bargain books possibly not i might have another book stashed away somewhere so this is um this fascinates me this book i've found recently imelda almquist on youtube um, she is an artist, but she is an artist that crisscrosses into sacred art and art within shamanism as well. So I just thought that this, as a first read for some of her work, might be really, really fascinating. A hollow bone for spirit. Oh my gosh. I the bones and bone collectors and the bone mother and trees bones just is following me everywhere so it talks about what is sacred art rock art spirit and soul religious art um where shamanism meets art mystery schools daddy is a pregnant spider the art of children oh my gosh i'm gonna love this body art mother earth father sky a book that is just right up my street how art and sacred art links with your practice okay now we get to some spellcraft books which weren't part of the deal i think this is book number nine i think i've got 12 books to share all together so you're going to get two thrown in for good luck so this one is called the elements of spellcrafting 21 keys to successful sorcery by jason miller so you've got part one is setting up a spell part two is execution of a spell part three is advancing your craft and i found in july that to be honest much of my much of my practice went from just reading and thinking and studying to the doing it's taken a few years to get there but it has it has turned into the doing and this looks absolutely brilliant i love these chapter openings with these little sketches i love that so very practical a very practical how to which is exactly where i'm at at the minute this was a little this is a smaller little book about protection and reversal spells um a defense manual so i have had some messages come to me in meditation that have 
kind of hinted that this might be a way to go first and might be needed i'm going to leave it at that but that's why i got that one so those are my 10 books so there were two more books for good measure so one of the things i've been aware of for a while is i must stay connected to the moon in my practice the moon is my grounding element when i disconnect and i'm not using the moon in my practice regularly things start to go really awry with me um and i just thought learning about some moon spells might be really really interesting this idea i love i've been looking at trying to make space for a labyrinth somewhere in my garden so that really interests me a moon circle if i don't have space for a labyrinth perhaps that might be the way to go. Um, let's have a look what is in the contents. So again, we've got preparing the spell, creating a magical atmosphere, magical tools, and then the spells cover areas of health, love, career and job, for women only, for men only, spirituality and then miscellaneous spells for things like birthdays communication freeing yourself from someone a binding spell increasing your psychic abilities making a decision safe travel prosperity special intentions and white light protection spell so moon spells spells around the moon and then our final bonus book so this is book 12 i know i've gone over my 10 is candle power using candlelight for ritual magic and self-discovery i use candles and stones and feathers and crystals and found objects just naturally anyway but i just thought it might be really nice to have a book and to read a book and to look at a book to actually see official associations whether i use them or not whether i stick to my intuition i don't know yet but it's nice to have the knowledge whether you're going to use the knowledge or not it's nice to know know some official associations or you know candle colors or candles throughout the year and, and and again to get some practical spellcraft around it so you've got the tradition of candles beginning candle magic talks about colors fragrances putting power into the candles protective candles candle rituals seasonal candle magic and candle magic for all occasions then there's candles for psychic development, so meditation, astral projection, divination, past lives. Formal candle magic, so the elements creating a special space and ceremonies. So there's a lot in there. I just thought that might be nice to read. So that's it, guys. Those are my last 10, two bonus ones. A selection of books to do with witch, witchcraft, practical witchcraft, spellcraft. We have some books in there that link to my garden in witchcraft and my art studio and witchcraft. And then, of course, we have all the Caitlin and John Matthews books that link to the Celtic Pantheon which I'm very much a part of here and love so thanks guys so much for watching I hope you found that interesting thanks Jonathan again for the idea for the tag I'm sorry I've changed the tag a little bit but I'm sure you won't mind if you pop on over to my doll channel tiny soul whispers which i'll link below i'm also doing the last 10 dolls as well over there so if you have any interest in dolls which i also use in my witchcraft practice then pop on over to tiny soul whispers and see the last 10 dolls too so thanks guys so much and i'll see you next time bye